LinkedIn. Hey everybody on LinkedIn, Matt Crump here with you again today and uh, trying something quite different. I am broadcasting and streaming live on Facebook and I am also going live here on LinkedIn at the same time. So I'm not sure if uh, the Facebook crowd over on that camera is gonna hear me as well as the folks on this camera that can hear me. Somebody else just jumped in on uh, Facebook. Who's that? Uh, Deanna. Deanna Spangler. Can you hear me, Deanna, on the Facebook feed over there? That would be awesome. And it just switched cameras. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm sorry, folks. It is a, it is a, a, a work in progress. I'm trying to see why it's not, why it's doing that. Let's see here. All right, that should stay. Hopefully. Thanks everybody for your patience. Hang on, I'll be right there. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can get the stick. You can hear me, Deanna? All right, great. As long as it stays here. I might get my son to come upstairs and help me. Y'all bear with me for a second. I'm gonna call him upstairs. He can be my, uh, my guy to help with the video. Stay tuned, hang on, don't go anywhere. All right, so I've got uh, I've got technical support coming, y'all. Come through this way, Garen. Hurry up. All right, so my boy's gonna come do this. Don't, don't come through this way over here. Don't touch that one. All right, everybody. Deanna, come over here. Sit in the chair, son. You're gonna have to run this. All right, so here's what happens. I'm live right now online. You keep this camera on this one, okay? This camera keeps switching for some reason. I want these to stay on this camera and this mic, okay? okay? If it switches at all, you switch them back. Oh, God bless. Why do they keep doing that? Uh -huh. dun, 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 dun. Facebook folks, I might have to sign out of this live and sign back in to see if it'll work because it keeps changing my camera for some reason. Just keep it there. Yeah, we'll try that, see if we can work it on that. All right. Coming through, coming through, coming through. All right, I think I just changed, lower it down a little bit so I can see it on the screen, son. What? Lower that screen down so I can see the whole thing. The other way. I need to see if the camera's set up right. Okay, that's cool. Uh, all right, it just switched again to Garum. <laughs> switch it back. <laughs> it looks like you might have to switch that. I don't know why it keeps switching the camera, son. Don't know why, don't know why. Oh. Huh? Did it switch it again? All right. All right, gang, so here's the deal. Um, I know, I got it. All right, let's keep it there. Let me just keep, keep it going. Folks on Facebook, sorry about the camera switch. Don't know why I keep switching cameras, but it is what it is. We'll try to work through it. And uh, folks on LinkedIn, how you doing today? Thanks for being here. I wanted to share something that uh, just was on my heart for the past, uh, past couple of days. And, um, you know, with all the uncertainty of the virus and everybody's schedules changing up and all the all the the weirdness of what's occurring in people's lives everybody's talking about it right uh, i think there's great opportunity to do a couple of things one i think there's great opportunity to press into uh, areas of our lives that we may not have been pressing into that could be uh you know for you if, if you're a, a business person like for my friends on linkedin uh, perhaps you know there's ways that you have been desiring to do something with your career and you just never have been able to put your finger on it and or you just haven't had the uh, the time to invest in some things in your life and in yourself whereas this may be a great opportunity uh, for other folks that are on uh, Facebook maybe not necessarily in business but that are um, you know just in life in general family home church scenarios of those sorts uh, this could be a great opportunity for you to press into areas of your life where where things may have been uncertain and you haven't had the time to really dig into what those certainties may be. Now, for me, I feel like a guy who's been battling stage four cancer uh, with this recent bout of uh, this little lovely surprise in my brain and uh, having to go through some, 
some uh, more medications and, and try to see what happens in the next couple of weeks if I'm going to have brain surgery again or not. Uh, there can be uncertainty, especially when a disease is spreading across the world like it is and uh, people are getting infected. Now, obviously, um, you know, this coronavirus is serious. Yet there's many, many other things that have taken out way more people than this virus. Um, I, I did a report on that recently. Just in America last year alone, 102 people a day were killed every day in the United States of America in automobile accidents. Yet on the news every night, we don't hear about 102 people dying every day. It's horrible, right? All of it is. And of course, you can't, you know, catch a, a disease like that from, uh, from Corona. Did I go offline? I think so. Uh-oh, I may have gone offline on Facebook. I'll go back and fix that in a second. Uh, maybe I have to do it myself. So, and, uh, now, yeah, turn it off. Um, no, just page? No. Just hit pause, son. Hit pause. It's a, no, Sorry, folks, I need to fix one thing real quick for all my LinkedIn friends, and we'll jump back into it. Oh, I think it's still on. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't know what's going on. Reply then to her. Very well, nice. we're not. I know she's very nice, but we're not going to make comments right now. We got enough issues. Make with, good on the right, wrong ones. We have enough issues with the uh, camera going back and forth. No, it's the right camera. All right. Perhaps Facebook. If you're still there, Facebook. Somebody jump in and say you're still there. It'd be awesome. All right. So I want to do a couple things. One, I feel like there's for me my fight has has been with words. And my fight has always been, been with music. And one of the things I haven't been able to do a lot lately over the past couple of years is music. And if anybody knows me, knows me. That has definitely been one of the key parts of my life and one of the biggest parts of my fight. And, uh, and I felt today was the day to push through. Actually, my sister posted a, a replay of me a couple of years ago today, uh, which was a Sunday at church. And it was one of the first times back on the stage in a couple of years. So I thought, you know what? <clears throat> I actually got the same shirt on that I did then. I put it on purpose and decided that uh, I wanted to do a couple of tunes for all of us today in the midst of what we're facing because I think, I think there's big opportunities for us to press in in lots of different ways. <clears throat> and I want to do that with you. So the first song I want to do with you today is called Abba. Now, I know I've got a lot of friends from a lot of different faiths, specifically on LinkedIn, and I love all of you. It's so amazing, the community that we have here. And uh, the one thing that is awesome about the word Abba, and many of my Jewish friends would know that Abba is the word for father, for daddy. And in this song, it is a chance where we have an opportunity to, to cry out to our father, Abba, daddy. But a lot of times when we don't know what to do, it's really good when you know who to ask, right? And for me, I know for sure who to ask. And I wanted to share that with you today. Hopefully, through all this mess here we got going on in the studio, and my, uh, my engineer back there, who was about to be 13 in August, uh, can help me out there, right? Oh, 
Opportunity that in the midst of all the junk, the chaos, there's always a chance to reach out to somebody else. And whoever's listening today, whatever you're going through, you can you can have faith, you can have hope. There's a peace. There's there's an other side to the mess that is amazing and going to help us all. Right. All right. So this other song is really a, a great song. One of my one of my great friends, uh, Chad Pullins, he uh, introduced it to me. I don't know. Uh, a few years ago, I'm turning off this air, unfortunately. Don't want it to make too much noise. So uh, this is from a song from a, a group of folks we had a chance to meet. Oh, I don't know how long, Chad. Maybe it's been over 10 years, and this song's not over 10 years old, but uh, great song. And uh, I want to share it with you. It's an opportunity where we can actually bless the Lord. The Bible tells us that God sings over us. You know, some of those folks that sing or, or, or think about Santa Claus, right? And, and he knows when you're sleeping, knows when you're awake kind of a thing. Well, I mean, much better than that. But this is an opportunity where we have God, our Father, the creator of the universe, who actually sings over us. Could you imagine what kind of, what kind of song that is? It's amazing. So for me, as a guy who's a singer, a songwriter, I'm not the creator he is. I just get a chance to echo the words and the music sometimes. But to be able to sing something back to give him, it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And the only thing I have to give him is, is worship. He has everything else, right? So uh, I want to sing this song for you. It's about 10,000 reasons. It comes from the song, old song, Amazing Grace, where uh, there's about 10,000 years to sing songs in heaven. It's kind of where the precept of this thing came from, right? <laughs> Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. 
pretty cool, especially for right now. And on that day, when my strength is failing, the end draws near, and my time has come. Still, my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand Bless the Lord. And it's such a powerful song to think about how we can have a chance to just, in the midst of all the crap, the chaos, whether you agree with all the words and the thoughts behind it or not, check this out. There's power in proclaiming faithful things. And in the midst of times where we are tempted to claim negativity, tempted to claim and promote things that aren't helpful, it's a great opportunity for us to say things that are and I'm hoping that today, through some of these songs, you have a chance and opportunity to uh, just be encouraged to share some of those things with yourself, your heart first, and then with others around you. Let people know, hey, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all right, right? We'll wash our hands. We won't cough each other's faces, and we'll get through this. Now, there is going to be some economic hits across the world. No surprise. It's going to be something else. But you know what, folks? We can get through this together. And it all comes through some of our faith. So I want to share a song with you, one more song that's really, really important to me as my son's sneezing his head off back there. That's really great. Cover your mouth, son. <laughs> and for me, it's a powerful song called Miracles. I am still a walking, talking miracle. I am a dead guy walking. I shouldn't be here, yet I am. Many of you that I know are able to say the same thing, and you know what I'm talking about. But to be able to stand when you're not supposed to be and you still have kind of uncertainty in your life, like I do by factual things that have been given to me from doctors, I have hope and faith and a resource that tells me there's more to the story than that. I, if, I'm sh- if I'm supposed to be dead, then why aren't I? Because God's not done with me yet. And chances are he's not done with you yet either, all right? So I hope you can hear this and follow along pretty good. The song is called Miracles. Maybe Many of you may have heard it. Um, it's, it's a really powerful song. I think you'll enjoy. But for me... I'm hoping that we can proclaim this from a posture of proclaiming into the world together. Let's proclaim this together, that we still have a God of miracles, the same one that parted the seas, the same one that delivered people from from the hands of Pharaoh to the promised land, the same one that, that healed the blind they could see, the same one that gave life to people that thought they had none, and now they have it forever. It's still the same one that can do miracles for you today. I promise you. What's the difference between somebody split in the sea and somebody who has completely been healed of cancer? Same thing to me. A miracle is a miracle, right? Let's believe God for some great things. Let's believe for some miracles today. It's 
physical healing, mental healing, delivers from addiction, whether it's a situation or circumstance you feel like there's no ending to, you feel trapped, you feel like you've been blocked by obstacles in your life that you just can't seem to get away from, over, under, around, <laughs> there's opportunity for you. There's miracles for you. There's chances for you to be healed. Mind, spirit, soul, and body, I promise you. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to come to fruition or to be revealed in people's lives. You know, there's times that people wonder, why do certain things happen to certain people? Because we lived in a, in a junked up world. I mean, there's a lot of problems here. Have you realized how bad things can get? Now, does that mean that bad things happen to bad people? Yeah, it does. Is it fair? No. I, I never saw any, any book anywhere that said we're here because it's fair, right? So there, anything worth having is worth fighting for. And I'm here today to tell you that you, one, are worth fighting for. You've been fought for. Two, you can do this. If I can get up here, sweat myself silly, try to play a guitar that I haven't done like this in, in months, and sound like this today, you can do it, right? I just went for it. And, and yeah, it wasn't perfect, not Hollywood, I don't care. It's a matter of doing something. And I want to encourage you to step out and do something. The more you stay withdrawn, the more you allow things to create negativity and a mindset of negativity, the more you allow things to structure you because it's what's being told, the more you are going to be secluded from the things that could possibly happen in and through your life. I promise you there's somebody else waiting for you to step out. All right, folks, that's my, that's my hope and desire for today. I wanted to share a couple of tunes with you. And thank you for, uh, for giving me a chance to kind of do that here. Uh, impromptu, quick studio thing I did. And hopefully it worked here for my friends on Facebook and for you as well on LinkedIn. 
And uh, yeah, I know it wasn't the audio at all, so it doesn't matter. What matters is that it's, it's worth the chance. And I wanted to do this because I care about you all so much. And I'm hoping that you'll see that I believe in a God of miracles, that even though I face situations in my life that could seem as if there is no chance, that could seem as if, well, here we go again. Or it could seem as if, I don't know if this is ever going to work out. That's, that's not where I live. <laughs> you know, there's a thing that people say all the time, you know, somebody so-and-so, you hear so-and-so's dying of cancer. And, and I want to tell you, for a guy who battles it, that, that I don't accept those, those words. See, I, I'm not going to die of cancer. I'm going to live life. You're going to live life. We both can do it. Now, we're all going to die of something. But it's how you live that makes the difference. That little tombstone, nothing else matters except that dash. It's everything you do in that dash that makes the difference. So I want to encourage you to do it today. Y'all rise up. Do something good. Do something strong. Do something on Facebook. Do something encouraging. Do something on LinkedIn that's nothing about trying to make money or, or, or bettering your business. Do something that's for somebody else. From your heart, both places, Facebook and LinkedIn, and see if it doesn't make a difference. Just try. I did something today. I just jumped out and did it. Right? I just made everything happen. Make it happen. All right, my friends. One more thing. Just a little impromptu. So for those of you that don't know me all too well, my name is Matt Crump, and uh, I've been doing a lot of interesting things in my life. Um, been from drugs and alcohol to uh, serving the United States Army. Served a, I'm, a, I'm a veteran of the Gulf War, the first war the, in the Gulf. Gulf War. <laughs> Um, got out of the military, uh, got my degree to go back in as a chaplain, never did, and I uh, stayed as a pastor here in the States um, ever since. So it's been about 30 years or more that I've been pastoring. The last church I was at here, I, uh, I tagged on folks here, is from Crossroads uh, in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and super, super happy to have been a part of that church. And uh, I love Chad Pullins, who uh, God sent here to start that, that work and ministry. And it was a great time in my life where I had a chance to, to do something that I said I was never going to do. I quit church at that time in my life. Not God, but church. I got tired of, of the machine. And I got tired of politics. And I got tired of, of people in general <laughs> at that time in my life. And thought I would never go back again. Never say never. <laughs> and uh, I pastored at that church for about 10 years. Until uh, cancer made it to the point where I had to step back and uh, and focus in on what I felt God was calling me to do. Um, it's very important to to live into where your focus is and to know who you are. And and I had to do something that required very difficult decisions to do that. And I did. Since then, I've been able to uh, write and publish a book called God's Got This, which is available everywhere online in the world. If you want to check it out, Matt Crump, God's, hashtag God's Got This. Um, and then now, in the past couple of years... I've been really blessed to have uh, extreme success here on LinkedIn and meet thousands and thousands of people around the world where I am an author there, of course, a coach, a consultant, and, uh, and a content creator on LinkedIn. do videos there every day. And uh, I'm super, super excited about that. And uh, I have many things I'll share with you shortly. So uh, if there are situations or circumstances in your life where you are unsure, like for me, what I know God's called me to do, my, my thing, my one thing, is that I'm here to help you overcome life obstacles so that you can achieve your number one goal and live a life of abundance. I mean it like it's possible, right? So abundance doesn't have anything to do with just money. It's part of it. But there are things that are blocking you to getting where you want to go. And I don't know everything, but I sure know a lot of things what you're not supposed to do, and I can help you out a lot. I've created a coaching program called The Flip. It's an eight-week, 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 eight-step system that will absolutely transform your life. And I'm not going to do a full commercial. If you want to know more about that, you can visit me at my website at mattcrump.tv. All right, so all that to tell you, just for those that didn't really know all of where I'm at and where I'm going with all of this, that's some of it. And my website will explain it more. For overall, this whole video today, I just wanted to share some life with you. I wanted to share some hope with you. I wanted to share some peace with you and know that, that we're all right. <laughs> and we're going to get through this together. 
We're on, we're on the closest side to the best things that have ever happened in your life right now. The closest. Because we already know what, what's bad. So now we have a chance to go for the good. That's what I want you to do. Everybody that's watching today, everybody listening, do something for somebody else. Post it. Let me know. Here's what I'd like you to do. On those posts, I want you to do two hashtags for me, all right? The first hashtag, a lot of you on Facebook know this one. It's hashtag God's got this, all right? Hashtag God's got this. And the second one will be hashtag flip out. One word, flip out, all right? God's got this and flip out. Two hashtags. Whenever you do, put those two hashtags on there because I want to watch and see what you post and have a chance to um, comment in with you guys, all right? Thank you so much for spending some time with me on our live today. It's been great for me, hopefully for you. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing many great things ahead. Let's stay together. Let's push together. And let's believe God for great things. Thank you, folks. We'll see you again soon.